The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back with a quick Madden 17 Ultimate Team tip for you guys today. If you didn't notice, there was a new Season Star set put into the game today, and along with that came another solo challenge as well, and I want to make sure that you guys are well aware that this is one of the best solo challenges, if not the best solo challenge that I can think of that they've done all year. This is an extremely easy way to make coins, and it's something that you can do even with a garbage team. If you have, like, a bronze team, you could probably still do this. So, guys, all that you have to do is just go in here and click on the Play Solos Challenges button, and then go to Limited Time. And today, again, they did add the Season Stars Solo Challenge which is going to make it very easy for you to be able to actually uh, start to do this set if you're interested in doing it. Now, this one is currently in the game until 227, so it's got another week on it. And I'm sure that the price on the rewards is going to drop over the next week. So keep that in mind. As more people end up completing this, you're probably going to drop your profit a little bit. But my point here is that even with what we currently know, which has been that this solo challenge has been out almost all day. I'm doing this in the evening, uh, recording this video in the evening. So we're still seeing a heck of a lot of profit to be made on this solo challenge. First of all, you're going to guarantee yourself some coins. I believe that I got 1,000 coins from completing this, so that's just right off the top. But in addition to that, you're also going to get yourself a pack, which is going to give you either two collectibles or a collectible and a player for Season Stars. So if you don't know, the Season Stars set, you actually collect these little collectibles on each of the players, and you're able to uh, go ahead and actually get yourself one of the Season Stars players. So if you actually go in um, and uh, take a look at the Season Stars sets, the first one that we're going to see here is Kaleshi Ozumeli and Marcus Golden. Those are the top end ones. You can actually pull these cards, the limited time cards, out of this set. Or out of this, uh, not even out of the set, out of the pack that you get. So that makes it obviously very enticing because those cards go for quite a bit. Uh, but even if you don't do that, you can actually get yourself one of these players potentially as well. Uh, so if you go into either the... Um, the, uh, actually, this is for last week, excuse me. Um, let's see here. Yeah, either of these ones. So any of these players, you can pull out of it as well, or you can go in and you can actually, uh, as you can see there, those cards go for a decent chunk, but you can actually get yourself an upgrade as well. So what you do is you collect uh, the little collectibles, and all of those will actually go in to uh, completing the set. So if you take a look, like, uh, again, the Group 4 update here, each one of these has a little collectible. Uh, and if you see, you're going to actually get two of these for every time that you complete the solo. So again, cheapest price on this one, 9400 That's like one of the cheapest ones that you could get. There's also these other ones here. Uh, again, almost all these are going to go for at least around 10,000 coins, 9,000 this one is. So if you think about it, even if you got two of these and they're only 9,000 each, that's 18,000 coins plus another 1,000 for completing the solo challenges. That's just an easy, basically 20K right off the top for doing something really, really simple. And again, you could potentially pull something worth a hell of a lot more than that as well. So keep that in mind, guys, because this is a very potentially profitable set to complete, or uh, even especially the solo challenge. It's very, very profitable to do. So I already did complete the solo challenge. It's very, very simple. You basically play a six-minute quarter when you're down six points and uh, you try and score essentially before time expires. So I was able to do it. I was able to run out the whole clock, made things very, very easy, and I scored as time expired pretty much, kicked the extra point, and I won six to seven or whatever the score was. I won by one point uh, is the point of the, the conversation there. And basically what I got here at the end was this season star reward pack, and we're going to open that up now and see what I get out of mine. I'm not expecting a whole lot, but you never know. And we end up getting the Trent Murphy, the one that we looked at there, which was going for 9000 And then we get, let's see here, what is this going to be? The Richard Matthews. So I think, again, I think both of these are worth right around nine to 10000 coins. So that's basically another, what, 19, 20,000 or so coins that I made just by doing this solo challenge. And it took me a 
not even five minutes to complete. So I would really highly recommend this, guys, and make sure that you're paying attention to these Season Star solos because they can be very, very profitable for you. So again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, make sure that you drop a like on this video and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.